Hello again, everyone. This is Randy, your sewing machine man, and what we have to look at today is a Sam B2. Sam B is S A M B2. And this is made in Japan. This is one of the masterpieces from Japan. This is a cast iron uh, casting with uh, brass, steel, chrome precision. It's a very, very nice machine. If you want to sew some heavy stuff, Call it heavy duty. This is your guy right here. Now it says a dressmaker on it. Like we discussed before, these screws come out. And I can put another plaque on there. Uh, you know, dressmaker, dressmaster, dial and sew, dial and stitch. Just any number of non-copyrighted uh, regional names. Like Carl's Sewing Center had them. Carl's on them. You just take this plaque off, put yours on. But made in Japan. The customer's bringing it in. Or she brought in, rather. And... Uh, it was locked up, and it wouldn't feed, and uh, it was in bad shape mechanically because it needed to be serviced. Uh, Appearance-wise, you can see it's a gorgeous machine. It is just absolutely stunning, uh, the finish on it and all the chrome. Uh, and had the new bobbin winder, bobbin winder ring on it. Service clutch, A to Z, clean the hook out, polish the hook, retainer ring, bobbin case. A to Z, left to right, back and forth, C to shining C. But the worst of it was the feed mechanism inside down under here. Right right back behind here is the feed mechanism that makes it go forward and back. That makes this button go in and out. If you get one of these and you, you test it and that button does not go in and out, get, get ready for a, a real rodeo trying to get this baby going because... It really takes some time. If you test one of these, or someone has one for sale online, and they show you all the cool stuff, you know, the tension assembly, and the patch and darner, and the drop feed, and they'll tell you about the three-stage drop feed, and the buttonhole, they won't go click, 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 to show you that it's functional, because it's frozen up, it's like it's welded. If they don't show you the click, 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 or if they don't show you this dial turns, or this dial turns and springs back to the left needle position and this goes here and this goes around and then back and then locked back you know otherwise it's just a great big gigantic blob of iron with some cool stuff in it but unless it's been serviced so if someone shows you one of these and they want to sell it to you or if you want to buy one somewhere just do a little bit of investigating and see if in fact it will sew forward and back. You can push that button and it'll back stitch for you. Because if it won't do that, you're in for a real journey getting it to do that. Because if you don't get it to sew, you don't have a sewing machine. You have a boat anchor or a door stop. And that would not be a good ending for a machine like this. This machine is worth the effort. I told her it was made in Japan. Bring it in. If it's possible to get it going, I will get it going and I'm determined to get these going you just have to know the techniques to work them to soak them with and as we always show you plenty of super penetrant doesn't matter who made it you have to soak those parts you don't get a screwdriver and start loosening or prying or pounding or tapping you just get real patient and you lube it and you work it and you lube it and you work it and finally you'll get a machine like this that is very precision works like a charm sews beautifully and will make you proud now this is what they call tabletop ready i've heard somebody say that online tabletop ready which means it has the supports on the bottom so it'll sit on a tabletop it's got the same cutout so you can put it in a singer cabinet or a singer carrying case because it's an international cutout we call it but uh it's a great great little machine and uh it's got a fractional horsepower motor it's got the regular clutch release on the side where you just release it wind the bobbin white kicks off automatically it's 15 class so everything interchanges uh with the old singers but awesome little machine uh has a ja38 makers number down there they say it's a white could be genomi i don't know what it is ja38 in the comments if you know for a fact stick it down there and you know more about it than i do <clears throat> but i know i sold the dickens out of these back in the 70s we were always glad to get them in they would either say uh oh uh, uh Nelco R1000 over here, like this one over here, says Sam B2, made in Japan on the side. If it is made in Japan, it's going to have the precision. It's going to be worthwhile. 
I always ask them if it's made in Japan, look around, find it where it says made in Japan. It's very on the right hand side, very tiny over here. Made in Japan. But if it's just made in Japan, it was made to a standard. That means it's worth the effort to spend the time to get it sewn like a monster. It'll get it done. <coughs> this is the Sam B2 dressmaker. If you can get one, grab it.